Meghan Markle made it clear she didn't want Sophie Wissex's mentor claims a book. According to a book, the late Queen Elizabeth suggested to Meghan Markle that Sophie Wissex could help show her the ropes of royal life when she married Prince Harry, but it claims Meghan thought she didn't need Sophie's help. Navigating public life after marrying into the royal family can often be a tough task, you know. The wife of the late Queen's youngest son, Prince Edward, previously spoke about how it took her a while to find her feet after, you know, transitioning from having a successful career in PR to a full-time royal. But now, many years on Sophie, who is celebrating her 58th birthday today, is often regarded as a safe pair of royal fans and has been, you know, even been described as the royal secret weapon. So when it was announced that actress Meghan Markle would be marrying Sophie's nephew Prince Harry, it seemed natural that the late Queen suggested the Countess could mentor the royal newcomer. However, according to a book, Meghan made it clear she didn't need Sophie's help and would instead rely on her new husband. The Duchess of Sussex quit her acting career upon marrying Harry in 2018 and pledged to hit the ground running on becoming a working royal. But author and friend of the royal Jesus Bendred, in his book Elizabeth and Intimate Portrait, he writes, The Queen, who of course had seen it all before, understood that Harry's girl might find adjusting to royal life challenging to begin with, as she put it. It is very jolty, but you soon get used to it. That has was Her Majesty's experience going back many years. To help Meghan, the Queen suggested that her daughter-in-law Sophie Wessex would be an ideal mentor. Sophie can help show you the ropes, said the Queen. Meghan made it clear that she did not feel, you know, she needed Sophie's help. She had Harry already. Meghan and Sophie's bond came under focus in September when they traveled together in the same car during the Queen's state funeral and a coffin procession from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall. Sophie, who grew up in a middle-class family and founded a PR firm before joining the royal family, has been compared with Meghan as they both underwent a huge transition upon joining the family. The monarch also invited her to several church services together and they enjoyed watching all movies together. Her late majesty was also extremely close to Sophie's children, her youngest grandchildren, Lady Louise Windsor and Viscount James. According to the Times, Sophie was the first member of the royal family to visit the Sussexes following the birth of Archie in 2019, going to the couple's Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. In a rare interview with the Sunday Times, Sophie compared her experiences to Meghan's. Speaking to the paper, she compared Meghan and Harry's experience to hers with Edward. She said, Remember, I would have five years to adjust to royal life, and for a six month engagement, I was even staying at Buckingham Palace. Not that you necessarily know how it was pan out. Uh, speaking about the Sussex's exit from the firm, she said, I just hope they will be happy. But possibly, more pointedly, she said that the royal family do all they can to try to assist new members to adjust to the royal life, adding that we all try to help any new member of the family.